Well, folks, it's just after six in the morning. I got the sun in my eyes just over the horizon. Uh, welcome to daily walking number nine. I've made it to getting up earlier. Uh, soon I may actually get up before sunrise which would be kind of nice because I get to actually see the sun come up while I'm walking. Uh, and I'm going for a little longer walk today than I've been walking. Uh, the surprise is, <clears throat> even with just going around the block the last few days, uh, I've been getting in more steps than my goal. Uh, yesterday I was particularly wiped out at the end of the day. But that helped me get up this morning. So I'm still not 100% awake. Uh, that's it for the moment. Let me see what else I come up with while I'm walking. Well, I made it to my destination. And now I'm walking back home. I don't know if you can tell, but it's considerably quieter. Although I'm actually walking past something and I see an 18-wheeler pulling out now. So no sooner do I say it's quiet. Oh, it's going to be nice. Sorry. It's going to be nice when I'm on vacation. And I don't have to deal with big 18-wheelers driving by. But I guess earlier in the morning, you're not going to encounter quite as much traffic. So, as I started to say, I made it to my destination for the morning. I'm on my way home, and it looks like I'm going to have 6,000 steps under my belt before the day really gets started. And it'll probably be what? 7, 7.15-ish when I get home. So, if you think about it, you get up early, you get that walk in, you get the blood pump. And I mean, when I started, my... I could barely think. I'm still yawning. But I think that's just the... Excuse me, there's one right now. <laughs> um, uh, I think it's just getting used to getting up earlier and earlier. Um, I think I'm pretty close to my goal. Um, I know for you know a bunch of you listening, you know might be thinking, you know, hey, I get up at you know five thirty, six o'clock, whatever, every day to go to work, and well, my life's a little different. And sometimes I'm up late thinking while I'm writing a program or something, but. I have learned in the past, and I tend to keep forgetting that getting up early in the morning for a night owl is hard, but getting up early in the morning has its benefits because you can get things done before the interaction with the rest of the world. Because really, the business world starts at 9 in the morning, at least here in the U.S., it pretty much starts at 9 in the morning. Some, I mean, some places are open at 8.30. I did one time have a job where I had to be at work at 5 in the morning. That was interesting, but... See, I'm out here on the West Coast. And at 8 o'clock, or 5 o'clock in the morning here, it's 8 o'clock on the East Coast. And government offices are opening up at 8 a.m. for all the people that need to handle some business before they head off to their work day at 9. So, it was a phone-related job, and I had to be at work early enough to be able to call people on the East Coast. No, I wasn't one of those telemarketers. But, uh, I guess I've had some interesting jobs in the past. That was an interesting one. That only lasted about a month, month and a half. It was a temporary job was an interesting, the more I look back on it, it was interesting. I think the company's still there. 
should probably look them up and see if they still need some help. But it was a seasonal thing. They were trying to, they were hiring temps because they needed to get a certain amount of work done by the end of the business year. So, anyway, I've pretty much killed all my time for this morning. Who knows what we'll talk about tomorrow. <laughs> but for now, thanks for listening.